So just into things at this stage, I mean, you, you guys were just, you know, hitting the straps and it was going incredibly well. And you also had a family coming and, you know, all these things. And, um, but it wasn't always easy during that journey and you actually lost a bit of the balance in your life. Um, mm. And that's kind of when yoga sort of came into yeah. this, onto the scene. How did yoga and meditation affect you and help you? So I, um, it was two, how old is Ari? I always do my reference everything by my children's age. So <laughs> Ari's nearly nine. So it was 10 years ago. So I was trying to fall pregnant with her and um, business was going nuts. We were three years in. And I just remember the doctor going, are you stressed? And I was like, no, I'm fine. Like, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm doing a lot in the businesses. And he was just like, I think you could be stressed. <laughs> and um, he's like, I know you're really fit and healthy. You obviously exercise a lot. And I was like, he's like, I just really feel like you need to find a way to just relax a bit more. And I was like, okay. And so I'd heard so much about yoga. Obviously we all have. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to try it and see how I go. And I started going every Sunday. I just go once a week and I was like, this is kind of nice. It's kind of cool. And then I just started to go, I could really enjoy it. And then I started to shift more from my general fitness being, I'm going to do more yoga than I'm going to do, you know, gym work and started to really just really, I really fell in love with the practice. Um, and that sort of soon led to meditation um, as well, which sometimes it does, you know, we tend to do yoga in the physical form and then start to realize what it changes, what it does to our mindset and how we can actually start to really slow down our thinking. And, um, and then meditation was probably two years after I started to really start to play with that. But for yoga is a fundamental for me now. I think, you know, I just, whilst I still, you know, go to the gym and run and stuff like that. Um, it's just so important for me to have that quiet time. Um, mm. And I think, uh, it's totally changed the way that I view mindset and how important our mindset is. And mm. I think that I was always somewhat aware of it intuitively, but I think that it's really strengthened my praxis in terms of why do I think like that? Okay, that's an interesting observation and being much more self-aware of how I'm feeling and when I'm in alignment and when I'm, when I'm feeling like something's not quite right. And so that started 10, yeah, about 10 years ago uh, and I've had a solid practice since then and I, do, I love it. Like I really love it. I think mm. it's... it's um, it serves me really well. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really is, is a game changer. I think definitely. Yeah. And, um, it's, it's good to see that it's like becoming more and more popular, you know, and I wish, uh, I wish more people would actually do it. And especially guys as well, because guys kind of still, they kind of still look at it like, Oh, that's a thing for the, the ladies to do, you know? And I'm like, yeah. cool, well, you should come to a class and then maybe you'll yeah, see how different... easy it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So hard. <laughs> it's exactly. It's amazing how many guys I've actually invited and like, they've actually left like halfway through cause they, I don't know, they just could, couldn't basically handle it's it. too so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, and, exactly. And I think it's, um, I think people are like, Oh, it's just flexibility and mobility. Mm. And I'm like, it's amazing for flexibility and mobility. But if you're in a pose, that's super uncomfortable. Mm. Stay in it. Yeah. And then that's when yeah. I find the mind chat is super interesting. Totally like, is. oh, okay. I'm just, you know, I'm bitching and moaning about this. And then I'm like, <laughs> okay, well, shift your focus. So I think that's what's, that's what's most challenging about yoga is being able yeah. to calm your mind, you know, during the process. It, it is for sure. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. Also just staying still, like still in inverted commas, like in one place yeah. for like, depending on how yeah. long your practice is, say like an hour, like yeah. that's much more difficult than walking around the gym, going to pick up weights, saying, how's it to your buddies? You know what I mean? Like, absolutely. It's, there's uh, no it's, distraction. If no. you're on the mat, there's, there is no noise other than your mental noise. Yeah. Um, and that's why I think it's so, that's why I think the transformation is so great through yoga is you're right. You're on that yoga mat for 60 minutes. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. You're not picking up a phone, you're not looking at, you know, changing yeah. the song, yeah. you know, you're in the moment for the whole time. And that's the power of the practice. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Awesome. And, and I think it builds up a good discipline in you as well, you know, and, and a good strength and stuff. So, so maybe yeah. you can make, tell us a little bit about uh, mind body connection and, and why like it is such an important thing. Yeah. I think that when I was younger, it was always, you know, I grew up obviously with my parents, obviously being, you know, fit and in fitness, knowing that you just had to exercise. Like I was just like, it's, it's good for your body. That's just what you have to do. So it's always been like, that's a given. Mm -hmm. And I was, you know, the, my kids always know that too. They're like, I need, you need to exercise. And, but I think it wasn't until I started to get a bit older that I was like, actually, it's less about the external output and it's more about what happens for me in my mindset when I exercise and how much better I feel during the day. Not just, it's not just the physical part that I start that I think people, people are like, Oh, you should go for a run or you should go for a walk. It's like, yes, physically you should, 
but your mind state changes by doing it. Mm. And the discipline, the discipline of exercise in itself is, um, is the challenge that we should be all taking on. And I think that people are like, oh, I can't run. It's like, you can run, you're choosing not to run. <laughs> Everybody can run. And, you know, but it's like, I can't. It's like, well, you don't want to is mm. actually what you're saying. I don't want to run is different to I can't run or right. I can't do yoga. It's like, well, you can, you don't want to, or you think you, you know what I mean? So I think that the mindset of, you know, you have to exercise and the discipline to exercise is something that I think people shy away from. It's like, I don't have time. It's like, we're well, not prioritizing it enough. Yeah. yeah and the discipline healthy. of exercise. Yeah. That's very the, well said. The discipline is, is so important that, you know, if we can't stick to that, then that that flows into the rest of our life. It's like, okay, what other commitments have we made that we're not fulfilling? So exercise to me is, you know, if you, you don't want to go for a run, you still go for a run. And then afterwards you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. One, I feel better physically. Two, I've had some mental space. But three, I did something that I know I needed to do. So I overcome a challenge. Mm. And I think that people um, think that they're going to want to go for a run all the time or they're going to, I can't wait to go to the gym. That's not the reality. The reality is I don't actually want to go today but I'm going to make myself go. So that's a discipline. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And I think that, yeah, so we avoid that challenge, but at the end of the day, the challenge is what moves us forward in so many other things as well. Yeah. yeah. I absolutely agree. It's such a, it's actually, there are very few people, even if you are like a real sportsman or woman, very few people are like actually always excited to get out there. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. There's days you that you're like, I don't want to do that. Yeah. And but I think I'm going to do of, it anyway. Yeah. So, cause, cause I, you know, and that's where I think people are expecting to want to do it. Yes. And that's not reality. There's some days you're not going to want to do it, but you still have to do it. And I think, and off the back of that is that most people that, most people that don't exercise will think that the people that are exercising are, are like loving every second of it. Exactly. And then they go, oh, but they just, they just naturally love it. And, and it's just not the truth. It's not, it's not true. We don't all love doing that you know yeah. it's hard it's it's work it's discipline it's you know I, it's sweaty and you have to have a shower yeah. and it takes yeah. up an hour of your day like all these things we've all got the same excuses but i think at the end of the day we just don't prioritize enough what it does for us and i think for me it's like as i get older i'm i'm how old am i 45 now and i think you know i want to be able to run around with my kids so my priority to keep my fitness is that's the focus point it's not just i you know i'm not 20 anymore focused on how I look, but it's mm -hmm. like, I want to be fit and healthy. I don't want to, you know, I want to be able to be with my kids when, when I'm 60, you know, my youngest is only going to be 20. So um, it's, it's a priority. And, and also like when you used to telling yourself, okay, I'm not that keen, but I'm going to do this. And you feel that reward when other challenges do come along your path that you're not expecting, you suddenly are like, same I've mindset done this before yeah, yeah exactly which is like i don't really want to do that but it's important so i'm just i'm just going to do that and i think as i've gotten older i've gotten better at that mm. um it's something that i really try and teach my kids which is you might not want to do it but it's the right thing so let's just get it done and then afterwards always like oh that wasn't that bad or mm. i feel really good so it's like <laughs> teaching them that you have to push through the challenge um and i think that i think that you know my 19 year old we talk about it and i'm like it's not always easy you shouldn't expect things to be easy. And if you're trying to do something really well, or you're striving for something that means that you're really pushing yourself, it's going to be hard, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that's wrong. People I think sometimes uh. are like, it should be easier. And I'm like, well, look at what you're trying to achieve. Why would that be easy? Yeah. So there's always going to be a challenge, but I think that we sometimes try and avoid it. Like there's the sneaky shortcut to getting there. And, and it's like, there isn't, you have to go mm -hmm. through the challenge to, to achieve what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. Waking at dawn, packing the gear, September tour and up in the air. Stop at the toll, digging for change, snowy Cape Fold mountain range. Gotta be quick, so 